Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna talk about a different type of tool today. We're talking about these non-contact voltage testers or NCVT. We have two of them here from Klein today. We're gonna to go over these tool top to bottom. Stick with us. All right guys, so this right here, um, NCVTs, we have two of them here from Klein. This one right here is the Klein NCVT-3P, and this one right here is the NCVT-2P. And say that pretty quickly, NCVT. Some people call them non-contact voltage sensors. Most people call them non-contact voltage testers. Anyways, the point is that we have two of them here today and we're gonna go over two of these. So when it comes, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you right now, when it comes to, you know, sparky work or electronic tools or stuff like that, do not cheap out on this. This is the part where you really wanna buy quality stuff and reliable stuff, mainly because if you're using this, you're probably basing your life around this, okay? And I'm just gonna go out and say that, okay? The other thing to point out is, you know, if this is this is not like wiring advice or anything, just go ahead and consult your local professionals. This, I'm just telling you about the tool, all right? So, uh, like I mentioned, um, there's some stuff out there that I've seen uh, used or even um, had at one point uh, where it's really cheap and I would not trust my life with that. You probably couldn't pay me enough to trust those things. There are some things that, that were, you know, um, off, off brand stuff that we've never heard of before. Some of them I think actually came from a, a company called MCM Electronics a long time ago. I definitely don't trust that one. The ones with the green ones with the white tips. There's some other random stuff off, you know, at the random um, Amazon stuff like that. But I would not buy any of that. Um, I probably wouldn't even take it if they give it to me. Anyways, point is that um, we'll go over these two. So the black one right here, like we said, is the uh, NCVT-3P and the red one is the NCVT-2P. And both of these are actually very similar. Um, the, the, the 3P just has a little bit of additional functionality, but this is probably their uh, more later generation or more current generation of non-contact voltage testers. So they did have some other previous generations um, on the previous generations, um, they did have a little bit of an issue where the battery clip was actually uh, the same uh, physical device as this uh, belt clip or any kind of hook clip or whatever you want to call this. Um, and that actually caused quite a bit of issue mainly because, you know, over time just putting it on and off or whatnot, this will loosen up and then the battery um, door wouldn't be reliable. So in a way, um, and some of them didn't necessarily have, you know, anything uh, indicating that it, the tool was working. So you kind of be using it and it's like, you know, you, if you're, if it's not going off, you're probably trusting it thinking, Oh, well, this wire is not live. Oh, well, you're probably screwed there. So, um, they did away with that. And then now they actually have a newer design on both of these where the cap actually twists on and off. And, um, they're both, um, in a way, two different pieces, right? So, um, just dropping it or whatnot, or parts and things like that breaking, you probably will have some issues, but it probably won't be the exact same issues as you did the other one. And on these tools, they will actually class, or you will know that they're on, mainly because there will be a light that that's on. So let's go ahead and bring you in closer and take a better look at it. All right, so this obviously is the uh, non-contact voltage tester 2P, and this one right here is a 3P. And if I had mentioned already, they're both pretty much almost exactly the same, except one, the 3P actually has additional functionality. We'll talk about that in a second, but we'll go ahead and talk about the 2P first. So this one is IP54 rated, dust and water resistant. You know, it even says, you know, dual voltage range, NCPT, NCVT-2P tester from Klein Tools. On the back side here, there is a sensitivity range, you know, it says, tw um, First mode, uh, 70 to 1,000. Second mode, uh, 12 to 1,000. There's always a warning label on all this stuff to make sure that it works, right? Warning before using test on known live circuits and read instructions, okay? Um, and as we talked about already, this one has a red clip, right? So um, the battery actually inserts here and the battery and the belt clip is actually two separate plastic pieces. So this piece right here comes off completely than this, such that, you know, just putting it on off all the time, you won't wear out, wear out that battery cap like the first generation ones did and have issues with it. When you do buy it and do get it, it, it will come with two AAA batteries. Uh, the one I got actually came with uh, GP alkaline batteries and it goes in with, you know, the positive end going first toward the tip, pretty much the same way the tool is actually shaped. There is an O-ring in here, and if you did want it to last pretty much forever, you could probably, you know, it would probably will last forever just fine, but if you want to take that extra step, just get a little bit of like, you know, O-ring grease and just wipe it around there, and you should be pretty good to go. And like we mentioned already, it's dust and water resistant, but you know, adding more O-ring grease probably won't have any issues, okay? 
Um, we'll go ahead and uh, show it to you in action first. So this right here is pretty much a standard extension cord that we have plugged in. We'll go ahead and turn it on. You could turn it on by pressing the button once and it will turn on into 70 to 1000 volt mode first, right? So this extension cord, let me check, it is live and plugged in. So we'll go ahead and do a quick check on it. So this light is on, but when I, when it, when you know that it's live, it will turn red and give you audible feedback. Okay. So now let's see what happens when you actually change it to more sensitive mode, press this button once and it will go to 12 to 1000, which is more sensitive. See, as you can see right there, without even touching it, it will go off and give you, you know, both, um, visual and audible feedback. So that actually is very, reliable, right? So I'm in an area where there's no like, I'm not surrounded by electrical wiring or whatnot, so I could probably get away with this. Um, but if you're in a, you know, like, let's just say a breaker box or something like that. Well, if you're in a breaker box, you're probably gonna think everything is gonna lie. But if you're in an area with more wires and stuff like that, you're probably gonna wanna, you know, use mode one, but, or you could just, you know, always use mode two and go to mode one if you're just getting a lot of noise, right? So, all right, so now if you want to operate this tool in silent mode for whatever reason, in case you're around cats and dogs or you have kids or you just, you know, you just want to don't like sound for whatever reason, you can actually operate this in silent mode by pressing and holding this button while it's off for more than two seconds as it comes on, it will come up in silent mode, watch. All right. So um, usually when you turn on for the first time, you know, it'll give you a beep knowing that it's working. When it's in silent mode, it won't give you that beep. Obviously it's in silent mode, right? You will still get the visual indicator. So now let's see what happens when we touch the um, live extension cable. Now see, as you see the light turn red, no uh, audible feedback though. If I change it to uh, more sensitive mode, You still get that feedback, right? But no audible feedback. So I want to disable that. So I'm going to go ahead and hold this for two seconds, press it once to turn it on, and I get the feedback back. As you can see, um, it knew I turned it off when it was in that mode. So when I turned it back on, it came back in that mode, okay? Uh, if you want to turn it off, just hold it for two seconds and it'll turn off. Uh, now I'll talk about the NCVT-3P, you know, which is pretty much almost exactly the same thing, except this one actually is IP67 rated, dustproof and waterproof. So theoretically, this is uh, waterproof. Other than that, pretty much two uh, sensitivity ranges are exactly the same, client tools, you know, voltage tester and a flashlight, which is actually increased on here, or additional benefit, I would say on here. Same warning, you know, test on lone knife circuits before using, there's a little bit of, what's that, drywall mod or something on there. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much almost exactly the same thing. The biggest differentiator is, um, this one is actually a black clip and black uh, battery holder. And because it also has additional uh, fat, uh, um, flashlight functionality, it is a little bit wider or thicker, if you wanted to say. Um, if you do look at the tip, the tip is also just a little bit different. So on this tip, if you're looking at it this way, the uh, longer, flatter side is actually more vertical. Whereas if you do it on, if you look at the 3P, the flatter side is actually uh, more horizontal or more flatter or on the same plane, let's call it, right? So that's actually a little bit interesting. but. Let's go ahead and talk about this thing here. When you do buy this, it will come with, you know, pretty much the two same um, batteries. But in this case, I got different batteries. This is some Kendo Alkaline batteries. Um, I don't really know too much about them, but I do originally like GP batteries because I have, you know, pretty good luck with them. Not too many issues. There's also an O-ring here. Just add some O-ring grease if you want to last, you know, pretty much forever. Other than that, you know, you just close it and you're pretty much ready, good to go. This, like I said, has two ad uh, additional functionality with this flashlight. So you press this, you know, flashlight button here and the flashlight will come on. So this actually is pretty helpful. A lot of people are gonna think it's a gimmick or whatnot, but you can actually use this flashlight by itself without using the contact voltage sensor. So if you, you know, you had it in your toolbox and you just need a quick light, you could pull this out and look at it. It's not super bright by any means, but you can definitely get some use out of this, right? So uh, you can press it once to turn it off. Other functionality to turn on here was, right? Press it one to turn on, it will come in 70, to, well, I guess last time I had it, it was in 70 to 1000. The green light is on letting you know that uh, the voltage tester is active and there is a little red light here saying that it's in that mode, right? So if I go and touch this now, I will get 
the red the LED will turn red giving me visual feedback and the beep will give me audible feedback. Moving this to more sensitive mode. So before I even come before I even touch it as I come near it maybe I don't know about an, an inch and a half to two inches or so it will turn blue and give me both beeping feedback. So just like the other one you can go ahead and um, operate this in silent mode by you know holding it for about two seconds or longer as it comes on and now it should be in um, silent mode and as you know I turned it off while in that mode in um, 12 to 1000 mode so I'll go here and it will change to blue and but there is no sound I actually like the sound it gives me just a little bit easier feedback and I haven't looked for that so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off right turn it back on will still be in that mode. There you go. See, that's good to know. So um, that's the additional functionality that really comes with. Um, the other thing, like I said, the biggest difference here is really one is water and dust proof. The other is just resistant. But the one that is water and dust proof does have a little, a little LED flashlight that does seem to be helpful. This one will also turn off um, in about four minutes of inactivity. Um, you know, just to save and conserve on battery life. But other than that, I mean, these two are generally pretty good. The one I've used a lot was probably this one. This right here is a Fluke Volt Alert. Um, the clip, the clip design is pretty much similar. It's not exactly the same, but it's similar um, to the first generation or the older models they had on here. But this one I like generally works pretty well, mainly because you know, Fluke usually makes pretty good stuff. You can always rely on like Fluke type stuff, but this here is a Volt Alert 1AC-A2. This one has a you know LED little blinking light telling you that it's on. But if I go here and touch this, right? It gives me both visual and audible feedback. Um, there are some other really, really cheap models. There was one that was like green, had a white tip. There was one that's blue, one that's black, all different kinds um, that just by no name brands. And some of that you probably could not trust. I would definitely be able to trust something like this, um, Fluke and this. Um, these two are pretty good. They're both, you know, drop rated or whatnot. I'm not gonna go ahead and drop these because, you know, I, we actually paid for them. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about these little tips here. So both of them have these little tips that are a little bit flattened out, right? This one is flattened this way. This one is kind of flat this way. That's interesting. Interesting, but the reason that they're flat is so you can kind of stick them in like those outlet places, right? So I don't really have like a you know household let, um, outlet right here, but let's say we can use this extension cord to demonstrate that, right? So if I go ahead and take this extension cord, pretty much just imagine there's like two of these, right, on a standard outlet. If I just go and turn this on, and I can go ahead and stick this in this side, which it shouldn't go off theoretically, mainly because this is usually the polarized side is where the neutral side is, but this is in sensitive mode. Let's see what happens if we take it to uh, mode one. See, it didn't go off. That would be, if, if you were a beginner and you were just trusting this and just testing this, that would be a mistake. You should actually test the hot side. The hot side is actually the, uh, the smaller side, so to say, or the side on the right, some people wanna call it. So if I take this and stick it on the side on the right, it will go off, right? Um, but you know, if this was a flat head and it wasn't like flat, or it wasn't flattened out, then I wouldn't really be able to stick it in there and it wouldn't really do anybody any good. So the reason that these tips are flat is you can put it in there like that, they know that it's hot, okay? So um, don't make that mistake as a beginner and only stick it in, you know, the, the neutral side because that you won't get in a lot. So to go ahead and let's test this one right here. This one's a little bit more convenient, mainly because you don't have to turn it on its side to get it in, right? So this is in, you know, mode one, nothing on the uh, neutral side, but if I take it in and put it here on the hot side, easy, go off quickly. If I change this to, like, you know, more sensitive mode, let's see what happens. It will go off in the neutral side, which is a good thing in this case. And since it's grounded properly, it should be fine. All right. All right, so now let's close this video out. Um, these tools are actually really great. Um, both of them, obviously, almost all of them are gonna say, make sure you test on known live circuits so you know that it functions. Um, but that's obviously goes by default and not everybody does that. Some people do. I would definitely encourage you to do that if you can, as the instructions tell you. Um, the other benefit to something like this is usually these will actually tell you when it's on, you know, with a beep that's telling you that it's on and it also has a light that's on. It makes sure you don't get or avoid getting ones that don't let you know that it's on. 
right? Um, there are some of them out there, do not get those or actually don't even get the cheap ones like I mentioned already. So would I go out and buy this tool? Yes, I would definitely go out and buy this tool mainly because I'm gonna tell you right now, we did buy this tool, nobody sent this to us. This is not a sponsored video, we did go out and buy these tools. Uh, one actually came in a kit with some other stuff. Um, one we just kind of got um, named to keep in like different areas, you know, one in the pack on your belt and one in the bag, our uh, go bag. So. Uh, they generally work pretty well. Um, we've always had this fluke one, hasn't failed us yet, but client tool stuff usually makes pretty good stuff. Um, so other than that, uh, that's generally how this stuff works. Um, there's older models, newer models, and all kinds of functionality out there. It's one with like laser pointers and stuff, but they generally pretty much work the same if they're designed this way. If you're gonna go on and buy one now, like I said, do not buy the older ones with the older caps, buy the newer ones with these caps. But hopefully, like I said, this video has helped you guys out. Um, if you have any questions or anything else, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day, and we'll see you guys next time.